Before getting into today's video, I have a small announcement to make. I made a Patreon page where you guys can support me financially and also get something back in return. There is four rarities you can choose from. I will leave the link down below in the description so you can go check it out yourselves. And now let's get back on the topic of this video. Alright, so today's video is a bit different. Rather than the music on the background, I will just give a live commentary on the videos. This one is gonna be a look here. I usually just use Killing Spree right away because I don't want to get caught up in the electric kit and die. I used a order which is a mistake by me, I should have just kept it and then after Killing Spree used it, but it's okay. We use Lost on Pool just to get rid of the Wind Burst, we don't want to have it happen because it's just going to be a DPS loss for everyone. I suggest if there is a tornado coming up to you, just run the same direction as it because you don't want to go out of the melee of the bus just to dodge it. In 10 man you should always do this, you should never actually go out of the melee of the bus unless it's super necessary and you're about to die and you need to reach the healers. But if it does allow you and you're healthy with HP, just go the same direction. It's not a big deal, you can just reach the right back in like a few seconds. So the cling spray right here, I usually just wait till I see the tornadoes on both sides and then I just use it and then run all the way back to my raid. You guys can just always use this the same method I do in 25 months as well, there is no difference. If you get caught up in them, you're most likely dead, so just be careful with that one. Before this attempt right here, I actually did try with the Blade Fluor and Stormlings and it worked out. And if you guys haven't noticed my video with Throne of the Four Wind yet, the way we do the Stormlings is, for the first one we wait up until 1.15, the second one dies at the last few seconds of the first one's debuff, and then from there you just keep killing them until it's the fourth one, and once it's the fourth one you just finish it off around like maybe 5 seconds left or so on the timer. And the fifth one is the tricky one. So right here, this fourth one needs to die super late into the timer of it. But once the fifth one comes, you kind of want to kill it the same way obviously, but it's going to be during intermission, meaning only dots can take it down. So right here, we should have just kept pushing the boss heavily. And once the stumbling is up, some people should cleave it, but not to kill it. Here we made the mistake of blasting it way too much and it got pushed before we could push the bus. It's not the worst ever, but we're only getting like 10 seconds out of it in the intermission. So it's not as great, we could have had like around 15 to 16 seconds instead. Or maybe even more. So the reason I kept my cloak until this phase is, in case I get a rod or something happens, I want to use it and stay alive. My main goal during Alakir is always to stay healthy and not die to the boss. Because there is a lot of situations that could easily kill me. I also went from using Trick Cliff to using Faint now because Faint is just so nice to have. As you can see here, I just got the rod, cloaked it, went back to the healers easy. And there is no risk of me dying here. But anyways, this is just Alakir. I think I got a rank 3 on this boss fight here with my DPS. It wasn't that bad. If the Stormlink was done correctly, we would have gotten rank 1 maybe, but who knows. But if you guys enjoyed the commentary on this one, go ahead and like the video and give my channel a subscribe as it goes a long way. Enjoy.